Well, hey, we're Trey and Melody Lover, and we're the host of Undone Redone, the podcast where we're not afraid to look around through the lens of messy. And we're very qualified to talk about messy. Trey and I were married for 11 years and divorced for six years and have been remarried for five years. And we love to bring people on the show that can talk about their own Undone Redone message. So look for us on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. We'd love to have you tune in. Also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Undone Redone. Tune in, the show where we talk about the messiness of life. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, the 7th of October. I'm James Spann. Rain is gone. Cool continental air blowing in here. The coolest air so far this season. Sounds pretty good. Let's go in there and take a look. This is the big picture, the water vapor satellite view across the nation this morning. The big trough that brought the rain yesterday is moving on to the east. It's progressive, so uh, the sky becomes sunny today. The rain will be off to the east, and it feels pretty good. Temperatures are mostly in the 50s at daybreak. Birmingham sitting at 55. Look at Haleyville. They're at 48. I think a lot of folks will be in the upper 40s tomorrow morning. Coolest air so far this season. And that cool air covers much of the nation. You know, there's a big snowpack over parts of uh, South Dakota and Wyoming and western Nebraska from that blizzard late last week. It's going to take a while for that snow to melt. Some folks up there had three feet. The only warm air left is on the Atlantic coast, and they will be in the cooler air by tomorrow. There's a look at the temperature plot coming off the uh, model output statistics guidance. Coolest morning will be tomorrow morning. We'll be in the upper 40s in most spots and then just a slow warming trend for the rest of the week. Be back up around 80 this weekend. There's another look at uh, what's happening around the nation, that cold front passing through southeast Alabama. The real surge of cool air is coming down through Little Rock, and you can see how they're in the uh, 30s and 40s back over parts of Kansas and uh, Nebraska, Oklahoma. And it's just going to feel good tomorrow. And, of course, with a dry air mass coming in, hardly any weather problems around the nation. I mean, that's about as quiet as it ever gets. That's the watches and warnings for the whole nation. Although later today there could be a few severe storms over the northeast United States, uh, from near Baltimore up through uh, Philadelphia, uh, New York City, and the parts of New England along the front. But, man, not a drop of rain. That's nice and quiet. I mean, nothing around here for the next Five days, this valid through Saturday morning, and more than likely the dry spell goes beyond that. And, you know, this is October, typically the driest month of the year. So long dry spells are common. Weather in the tropics, Karen fizzled out over the weekend. Never made it inland as a tropical storm. Uh, the uh, sheer dry air, cooler water just ate it up, and it's not coming back. We do have a new disturbance in the far eastern Atlantic, that might have a chance of getting its act together. There's a look at the modeling on that. It'll be gaining latitude with time. And again, the higher the latitude, the odds are it won't be a problem here. Some of the models try to bring it up to a weak tropical storm. But again, I just don't think that's an issue here. But as always, we'll watch it. Modeling. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Intense trough coming through the northeast United States and Cold front passing through, and again, there could be some pretty rough storms up through there. But down this way, we are dry as a bone. Uh, the sky becoming sunny where any clouds are lingering. They'll be gone soon. High today, only 70 to 73. Nice northwest breeze. It'll be a great fall day. Tomorrow morning, we'll be uh, in the upper 40s in many spots, I think. Same deal, high, probably low 70s, just delightful. Temperature's nice, below average. What October is all about. Rain continues east of here, though. Uh, still rain possible over South Georgia, parts of the Carolinas. Wednesday will stay dry. That Atlantic moisture stays well east of here. Parts of Virginia, North Carolina could see rain. This is Thursday. And Friday, beautiful weather for high school football games. Uh, and again, we'll warm up a little bit later this week. Highs uh, probably in the mid to upper 70s, maybe upper 70s. Some folks could touch 80 by Friday. Another big storm over the Dakotas. Could there be more snow on the backside of that thing after being buried by an intense early October blizzard? That doesn't look cold enough, but we'll keep an eye on that. Of course, it's not going to bother us. Let's go to Saturday as we start the weekend. The upper system generating that deep surface low up there is lifting up into Canada. And down below that, we're dry as a bone on Saturday. Should be a sunny day and the high around 80. And uh, pretty much the same deal on Sunday. So as you plan out your weekend, uh, whatever you got going on, football or anything else, weather looks A-OK. -okay. Rain off to the west, and there's Monday. Uh, rain gets closer 
And just maybe by the middle part of that next week, around October 15th or 16th, that'll be our next chance of rain. But clearly it's going to be at least seven days of dry weather here. We'll check the end of the forecast, October 22nd. Kind of a zonal flow across the nation, a little moisture, maybe a shower there, but no big deal if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.